in this video we're going to focus on creating a hover effect here or at least when you you mouse over on the legend you can see here the cursor start to change so let's start to explore how to do this in this video we're going to answer one of the viewers question which is how to change the mouse cursor on hover in the legend in charge.js so i have another video or this video or this question came from this specific video about how to change the mouse cursor on hover on the bar chart in charge.js but of course the most logical question would be what about the legend here so if we scroll down here i got this question from sub z and b or most likely sub zero mb and this is what sub zero ask uh, amazing video i came here looking for cursor on hover not on the bars but in the legend or label so you have a whole story here eventually explaining the item but then he asked here do you know how can i uh, do it or have the mouse cursor hover the legend thank you very much so because he tried to use the code that we have here but it doesn't work it doesn't work because they have a different structure in here why i don't know but i guess that is it how charges has been built um so let's look at it well most likely i figured out that probably there's a chart area that's being triggered on the on click or on the hoover while everything outside the chart area needs a very different structure that's that's the core or the essence of it so however let's start to work on it so what we're going to do is here we're going to go to charges3.com getting started make sure you have this specific link if you see this error here my google chrome gives this error but if you're in firefox it does it works fine however I'm going to copy this chunk of code here and this code here if you want to understand what this code does or specifically the javascript make sure you watch this video here so we're going to paste all of this code in here and then i will cut out the title and the title i will replace with this one of course this is just only for me not necessary for you we refresh it and now you can see we have now our bar chart so what we're going to do now is we're going to try to trigger this one so for that, we cannot use the original code that we have from, from this example here because it's completely different structuring. And I've tried to figure out to make it as concise as possible, but it's not really possible. So we're going to work on it right now and I'm going to show you step by step. So first of all, what we need to do here is we're going to go here in the options and then we say plugins because we're going to pinpoint the specific plugin section for the legend. So we say here, legend. And then in here, before we even do anything, make sure you have a comma here. Then in here, we're going to work with basically built-in functions in Charge.js. And we're going to use two. The first one that we will use is specifically for the Hoover effect. So we say on Hoover. And if we do this, basically we're going to create here a function. And this function will be triggered by an event. What's the event? Well, the Hoover is the event here. So we say here, this is the parameter, that's the event, and then we select here the chart element. And then I'm going to say this will be a function. What will we do? Well, first of all, I want to make sure you understand what these are. So I'm going to say a console blah blah. And all we're going to say here is event. And then we get another one, console.log, specifically on the chart element. So if we save this, oh, make sure you save it correctly or paste it correctly, save this refresh and now open up your developer tab you will be able to see that the moment we hover over well here it won't work but specifically on the legend we get two items first of all it recognizes that this is a mouse move meaning a mouse over or a on hover effect moving with the mouse and secondly it understands that we have these uh, elements here basically this is the chart element specifically all of the items we have here so we have this here so when we hover you can see if i refresh again when we hover it will always recognize the item here so that is very nice so you can see here um, uh, let me go there and it's moving there you are so you can see every time the x and y coordinates being shown and of course all of the same data here so what we want to do now is basically acknowledge this so right now it acknowledge when we hover over it it will acknowledge the following that we're on top of it so now what we can do is very straightforward Let's, let me show you. I'm going to comma, count out this one. We're going to the events because this becomes now important. Refresh. And if we go here, we go for the events. And then we're going to search here for certain items, which is eventually the native 
And in the native, we eventually have the target. And in the target here, you can see this. Here, we target basically this canvas with this ID name, meaning we can uh, targeting a canvas here. This would mean that now we can start to play around with CSS style coding here. Well, this here probably will not show you anything here. Maybe if we go down here somewhere in the style, let's see if we have anything with style or cursor. Uh, somewhere with the S. It doesn't show you anything. That's all right. And the reason why it doesn't show anything doesn't matter anyway. Because probably have not, no settings in here, but we can pinpoint it. Because we already pinpoint this specific element here, the target. All right. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to do here, uh, what happened here, that one. Let's go back here, and then we say here, native, remember? And from native, we went from native, we can go here into the target. Target, and then we say your style. There's no style here, but all I want is basically the style cursor. Save this, refresh, now if I move over, you can see here, the first time, or basically it doesn't show anything, it's a default value, meaning there's no value at all. So we can change this eventually into something we want. So all we want to do here is basically say the following. Grab this, put in this here, and then we say equal to what? Well, equal to a pointer. So if I save this now, refresh, move over it, you can see here it now starts to show, and look at my mouse right now, it converts into a pointer. But there's an issue here. When we leave or unleave or move away from it, it doesn't reset back to original shape. Even if you do the if statement from my other from this specific video, it just doesn't work. So what we need to do here is the following. We need to now recognize not only on Hoover effect. And the reason why it doesn't work with the if statement, if I refresh here, you can see here this console log is only being triggered once. Every time we hover over it once, it shows only once. And that's the reason why. So only when you hover over it. So it cannot undo it even if you move away because it only recognized once. So what we need to do here is just do another one here. Well, we can just do here comma and then we say on leave. This is another function which is also built in into chart.js. And then we can say event comma. And we get here again the chart element. But basically we're going to do exactly the same but exact opposite of what we want here. So now instead of showing this, we want now the default value. If I save this now and refresh, you can see it now we are here on it. And if I move away, there we are. Move away, there we are. And that's basically how we can play around with the cursor on the legend. So if you like this video, I highly recommend you one of my other videos, which is to create clickable bars. Because this one is together with this, very interesting because this creates uh, a hover effect on the bars but of course you want to have maybe clickable links if they click on the bar it should be an effect of a link so this video is very nicely together with the other